jicama. <laughs> Hello, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up some jicama. We're going to make a breakfast hash with jicama instead of potato because I don't have any bacon, and I like to use bacon when I make a hash with a potato. We made a jackfruit hash a couple weeks ago that was a vegetarian hash, and I'll put a link to that somewhere. And this is going to be a vegetarian hash too. I'm not going to use bacon, I'm going to use jicama, not potato. And jicama, it's kind of like a cross between a uh, potato and an apple. You know, it's like a, a sweeter potato and a less sweet apple. But it's very crunchy, which makes it great for a hash. In fact, it's too crunchy. It's unnaturally crunchy. So we're going to uh, uncrunch it here in a minute. But this is heavy. When I buy a jicama in the store, I want to find one that's heavy because it's mostly water. So you want to get one that seems very heavy for its size. Thick, unattractive, inedible skin. So we'll just whack it off, which sort of sounded inappropriate. Sort of want to get, you know, a layer away from the uh, jicama. You know, you don't, you don't just want to take it and pull it off. See, if you get it under there, you can start to pull it and peel it off of there. But I don't like this uh, little layer that's right under there. So I like to uh, cut it with a knife so that I'm getting down into the white meat of the jicama. Past the fiber. Past the fiber. Post fiber, as we like to call it in the biz. So just take your sharp knife and shave it off. So there you go, we got all our skin off of there. You know, you can eat jicama raw, and this is great in a salad. You know, you can just use it like this here. You can dip it in a uh, soy sauce, you know, lime juice, uh, cinnamon, whatever you want. See how crunchy? You hear that? And it is just like an apple. You know, if I close my mind, if I close my mind. If you close your mind. If I close my eyes, it's a consistency of an apple. I would say this this was like a this apple sucked. It doesn't make a great apple because it's not sweet enough. Let me get my detritus out of the way. That's a Greek word for stuff you don't need no more. So once we got it peeled. Now we're going to cut it up into some hash-like pieces. You know, whatever size cubes you like. And I kind of like mine to be a little bit small. So I'm going to cut it into some planks. Cut it into some lengths. And turn it around and cut it this way into some cubes. And we'll have some nice little dinky-doo square shapes. Throw it in a bowl. I think this is enough right here. So this here leftover jicama, I'm not going to use this for this dish. The great thing about jicama is that unlike apple or potato or a lot of things that you slice like this, it's not going to discolor. It's going to be fine just like this here. Like I said, boom, super duper crunchy. You can buy jicama stalks ready to eat as a snack in some grocery stores yeah. now. Yeah. Sounds pricey. We're going to add some salt. And this is going to take some of the moisture out of the jicama. And that's going to give it a, a little less crunchiness. So it's actually going to make it more potato-like. So now that we got this salted up, we're going to go ahead and set it aside. And uh, while the salt is uh, working its magic on that, boom, we're going to cut up our other vegetables for this hash. So I got a little bit of leftover pepper here I'm going to use, and then I got a half an onion here that I have left over, and I'm going to go ahead and chop this up. You putting any garlic in today's hash? You want some garlic in there? Maybe a little bit. Alrighty, we'll do a wee little bit of garlic. Again, that's optional. If you don't want to get up in the morning and have garlic, just leave it out. What about this camera girl? One clove alrighty? Sure. Boom! So we're going to go ahead and chop up a clove of garlic to go in here. Give this a little mince. And I've already got some oil that I've started heating up here and I've just got it on medium heat. And we'll throw uh, these ingredients in here and let these get started. And I got so much in here, I'm not even gonna have room for my jicama. But I like my hash to have a lot of onions and peppers with it. So we'll let this go for a bit. Alrighty, so it's been sauteing for about three minutes. And it's really softened up here, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some spice in here. You know, I just got a little bit of a chipotle and some onion powder and a little garlic powder, but you can put whatever you like. I'm not going to put any salt in, since I already put that in with my jicama. And this is a lot of spice, but the jicama is going to go in here as well. But we'll let this go. 
continue to saute away and come on over here to the uh, pick of the camera girl. So this has been sitting in here for a few minutes now and it's a little bit different because we had that salt in here and that draws some of the water out you know so now it's going to be kind of damp and there's a little bit of water in here still very crunchy but it's a softer kind of crunch so it's not as jarring so it's going to make it a little more hash like we'll just take a paper towel and dry it off a little bit before we add it into the other ingredients so now we'll take our jicama and we'll just stir it in here with the rest of our dish so that it'll all cook together and this jicama will get a lot of this flavor. You know, like I said, you know, the jicama doesn't need to be cooked. We just need it to uh, become buddy-buddy with all these other ingredients. And yeah, I put a lot of spice in there, but that's okay because this jicama is going to take away a lot of that spice. You know, you're going to need that flavor for all this jicama. And I'm not going to add any more salt because I've already salted up the jicama, so that's going to be plenty of salt for the dish. I will throw a little bit more black pepper in here. But we're just going to let it uh, cook away a little bit on medium heat here. Let these flavors kind of come together. Let it cook down a little bit more. That's all there is to it. Now we're just going to bide our time. Alrighty, so I've had this sauteing, cooking away for about 10 minutes. Got a little bit of burnt bits on the bottom of the pan, but that's okay. That's just more flavor. Oh, yeah. You know, so we're done cooking it. All these flavors have uh, meshed up enough. Still very crunchy. So we're just going to serve with a little egg and avocado. Boom! And that's it. That's all we're going to have, right? We don't need any bread. This jicama is going to be uh, starchy enough for us. So we're just going to serve our jicama hash with little eggs on top there. Boom! Look how beautiful that is. Very simple. You know, an uncomplicated breakfast today. But this jicama makes a very quick breakfast hash. And if you throw a little egg on there... You can have a nice yolky sauce on there, but that's your call. Boom, boom. You could serve this with scrambled eggs. You know, any kind of eggs you want or no eggs at all. But go ahead and try a jicama as a breakfast hash. You know, I'll have the recipe down below or you can go to myfoodchannel.com. Print out all the recipes there. Thanks for subscribing and watching. We'll see you in the future.